surveillance in EU. Welcome to Cyber Security in Virtual Forensic Conference 2020. I'm the speaker, Managing Director for Brilliance in EU. As you might know, Brilliance in EU is an international community which is spread across 10 countries, and we work for emerging technologies like blockchain, AI, ML, cyber security, forensic, and deep learning. We do live webinars, conferences, seminars, and workshops on research paper, articles, and magazines. You can find the link in the description box below. You can follow us on YouTube and check out our website and various social media profiles. For today's topic, which is entrepreneurship in cybersecurity, we have a very young personality, I will say a very young entrepreneur who can represent uh, today's generation. And he is a very good example to look for. He is Mr. Hayes Mehta, a cybersecurity and computer science enthusiast a researcher by passion, and at a very young age, he's the founder of Hashtag Security Solution. Please welcome Mr. Hayat Mehta. Thank you for introduction of mine. Uh, I'm really helpful. Uh, you know, I'm actually very glad to be uh, on your platform, and uh, I'm thanking you to the brilliance in you, uh, which is such an international, uh, you know, com community who invited me as a guest speaker. So, uh, thanks to you. Pleasure to have you. So let us begin with the question. As we know that cyber security deals with computer networking and uh, computer system, and how we protect the system and hardware from getting corrupt or our data getting lost. So my first question for you: What actually is cyber security according to you? Okay, so uh, we have seen that lots of defin definitions in the internet, but I will not uh, take those definitions because we all can fed the information from the Google. But as per my perspective, the cybersecurity, the world which has came from, you know, to defend your system by cyber attacks. There are lots of cyber attacks like uh, ransomware, uh, there are some uh, malwares and, you know, like uh, lots of uh, uh, DOS attack and lots of things. So the prevention of that attack, which is known as a cyber security. In the cyber security, we secure the devices, uh, our laptops and all the electronics devices, uh, our servers and all the internet based things. So basically uh, there is a, some, just a simple fundamental of the cyber security. What, what we are, we should know about that. Right. Uh, so can you tell us how cyber security and information security are related? And how can we differentiate them? Yeah, this is actually the biggest query. Like, uh, if you are a cybersecurity researcher, I have seen lots of people who are into the cybersecurity researcher, but uh, they call them themselves as an infosec community guys. Actually, the difference between information security and cybersecurity is totally different. Cybersecurity is a kind of the security which patches, updates, and regularly. Uh, you need to make your security of your device like electronic data, electronic device. But when it comes to information security, so it is a security of your data that you are uh, fetching or uh, you're taking from your customers. Suppose there is a company, uh, there is XYZ company who is collecting data from the customers. So that company needs to uh, secure the data. So that's why they will use information security guidelines. So basically there is information security and information security, basic, uh, if you add management into cybersecurity, so it will create uh, information security because information security contains lots of management. Right. Like there is a very thin difference between cyber security and information security. But the yeah, but, uh, is to manage, right? So uh, can you yeah. explain what is the role of management in technology and cyber security? Okay, so uh, we know that management plays an important role in any kind of field, right? Because if we, if we, uh, if you actually want to do something in uh, is there, either it's a technical field or any kind of field, you need to manage your time schedule, uh, your financial, your like, you just need a technical management and every kind of fields in management. If you want, if you are looking for uh, to be an entrepreneur, then if you only have an uh, only simple uh, idea, which is unique, but if you don't know how to manage that, so I don't think so that you will be succeed uh, in that idea because you don't know how to manage that idea, which plays an important role. Suppose that uh, I have created a company. I know a technical knowledge. I have lots of technical knowledge. I know penetration testing. I know application security. I know forensics. But if I don't know what is management and what 
uh, the role, what is the role of management into field of uh, technical and cyber security or, or information sec uh, technology. So I'm not, uh, so I will not play my company into the market because uh, management, uh, like if you want to uh, give, uh, if you want to, you know, like uh, make your share of the company, still you need to require the knowledge of the management. So all those things, uh, after some technical knowledge, management is a necessary knowledge to be have. Yeah, because without management, you can't manage your company. And that is the main, that is the main thing. We need to manage our company. That these both things go hand in hand. If, if you have a good management skill, you can have a good organization. And of course, you can maintain yeah. the cyber security of your company. Well. Right. So what's mm -hmm. your take on uh, that nowadays the rate of cyber security is increasing. People are getting more aware of the threats and the uh, security protocols they need to follow. So what's your take on it? Okay, so uh, the security controls that need to follow. Uh, no, that they are increasing. Why they are increasing? Like people okay, are yeah. getting more, okay. more and more aware of these. And yeah. So basically, if we look at the statistics of the internet usage, so we have seen that uh, Geo started a free internet, and that's why there are lots of huge uh, internet users in the globe. And yeah, in the India, there are lots of vast jump in the uh, internet users. So they have, uh, you know, internet to surf on the internet, uh, to surf on the browser and Wikipedia and all those things. So they can easily fetch any kind of knowledge into from uh, from that. And nowadays we are seeing that uh, courses like uh, from Udemy and YouTube and Upgrade, there are some platform which provides you know, cybersecurity courses. And if you look at before like 2015, so there were no any kind of platform of the, uh, you know, teaching platform on the internet. And if there was, so we are not able to use our internet because the price of internet is too much. And compared to now, uh, India is providing world, you know, uh, cheapest internet in the world. So that's why uh, people are actually using their time by learning in, from the internet. And uh, if you look at it, so, and every person love hacking. When they hear the word, uh, no, you know, hacking. Yeah, I want to hack the account of my friend or any kind of. So because of the internet, they search on the Google, right? You know, what is hacking? From that, they got to know about cybersecurity. What is cybersecurity? What uh, plays hack? What hacking plays important role into cybersecurity? Uh, how uh, how to hack and all those things. So they just started to learning from the online platform, right? And so that's why uh, the you know uh, you you can see that there are lots of like a one more than one lakh students per month who are learning cybersecurity. So yeah, there is a vast jump in the field of cybersecurity because of the internet. So we can say and, uh, yeah. the gen next next profession the more and more youth will be inclined to this in the future yeah and cyber security is a very interesting topic right uh, you will never feel like i am doing boring stuff uh, like if you are studying law and all those things so you will like a what is this documented thing so if you are uh, studying cyber security then everything will be practical and practical will never be boredom right so how do cyber security help in business if we want to implement it our business how can we do that what are the steps or what are the planning we need to make for it okay so if we look at the statistics of the business so there are lots of uh, small business uh, who are running you know their uh, conference like business there are lots of business in the globe and but they don't implement it cyber security that's why they be, they become victim of the ransomware lots of viruses and their company got ruined uh, one hack can ruin your company for the lifetime, right? Uh, if you are just started beginning of your company, either uh, I am not even like a technical uh, company, if there is a, any kind of field, there is a company, but you don't know how to, uh, you know, uh, implement some cyber security and you just started your company and put your website on the internet. And if your website got hacked, so uh, we can imagine like what could be losses to our and uh, our customers because, uh, all, all the data is about customers and if the data got breached, so uh, we know that customer will not trust on us, right? And if you want to implement some cyber securities on our business, then first of all, we need to require a CISO, CTO or any kind of security engineer uh, who have better knowledge into terms in the cyber security. So they can measure the, what a kind of security we need. Uh, let me give in, uh, let me explain you in the uh, brief. Suppose I started a company. Now I started a company. The 
I have a good idea and uh, I started a production of uh, that idea, but I want to now make it e-shopping, right? E-commerce. I want to start an e-commerce because uh, e-commerce gave me a better, uh, you know, platform to, uh, per- to sell my lots of things. Now uh, I need to create a website for e-commerce. Otherwise, if I will sell on the Amazon, so I don't think so that your company will have a better reputation because if your company has a, your own side, so it will make a better impact and better, uh, you know, like uh, uh, there will be lots of benefits by creating their website. But you don't, but if you don't have any kind of security on website and your website got hacked and all the data got breached, so you can imagine that what could be reputation in the market of your company, right? And for the uh, implementing cybersecurity, you need to use lots of antivirus. Uh, you can go with a premium version uh, because you know lots of people are using uh, you know cracked version, which are actually they are viruses. But we need to purchase from the trusted sites. Second thing that uh, if uh, there could be two options. The first one is that to use a product of a Cisco like Palo Alto or all the cybersecurity company, uh, we can use the product of themselves. Otherwise, uh, we can hire a security engineer who can check all the security measures. What, what should we need uh, to implement our security? Because security engineer has lots of uh, experience and uh, he knows everything about cybersecurity. So this could be a beneficial role for the any Canadian company. Uh, by hiring a security, their company will be um, more secure. You sum up very well. That- if you really want to implement something like cyber security in your in- company, then you have to go for authentic sources and proper yeah, and, companies. And if uh, your CEO doesn't, uh, you know, uh, give a permit to, to you for hiring a security engineer, so there could be only one uh, chances to implement cyber security is let your company should be get hacked. The, there is the only option. Will uh, CEO CEO will understand that what is the consequences of cyber attack? So uh, there is then only option. Then they will learn from their mistake. Then yeah, they will learn yeah. from their mistake and they will invest the necessary money and infrastructure for it. Very well. Said. Yeah, because there are because there are lots of founders and CEO and investor in the company who don't believe to uh, you know uh, implement their cybersecurity and don't want to invest their money into cybersecurity so let the company got hacked they will understand that what is the value of your data and what is so yeah this is the main thing but nowadays it's like a trend and more and more youth and more and more people are inclined to in entrepreneurship and business yeah rather than doing jobs they want to settle on their own and stand up for their own passion. So what's your take on this? Why is this changing and how uh, cyber security entrepreneurship is rising? Okay. So the main reason is uh, cyber security entrepreneurs earn more than job person. Now, uh, if we look at some, you know, past numbers of the entrepreneurship in the cyber security field, so there are some companies like tech security, evidence security by the owner, like a Trishnit Arora and Manan Shah, who earns in the billions of dollars, right? And we got fascinated from that. Like he started a company. I also know cybersecurity. Why shouldn't I start an ent- uh, startup like him? So we uh, like, you know, in the, if you are entrepreneur and if you, uh, if you become a successful entrepreneur, then you will gain money. You will gain fame. You will gain lots of, you know, like a reputation. Uh, you will be a speaker from in the lots of conference. So you will feel yourself uh, self very upward. Like, you know, I'm doing a great thing. And that thing, uh, every person fascinate, right? Uh, if I'm doing any kind of things that makes me feel proud. So obviously I will go into that, but people don't know that what are the black sides of the entrepreneurship right. uh, uh, like you know uh, yeah in this entrepreneurship you will uh, need to have lots of hard work uh, it's not a, a time of like uh, you can do entrepreneur better than in one year on one two year it takes time and also uh, without knowledge you can't do entrepreneurship if you have just simple idea as i told you before if you have simple idea but you don't know how to manage it then you are not going to be a successful entrepreneur in this beginning uh, you need to become your servant of your company. You need to become every kind of employee because you are the only in the company and you are starting entrepreneur. So you will be a leader of your company. You will be a servant of your company and you will employ of your company. And uh, yeah, that is the main reason. We have seen lots of statistics that entrepreneurs earn in the billions. Uh, they have good reputation in the Gujarat. In the uh, If we look at the Indian uh, statistics, so India stood first in the cybersecurity research as per report of Buckcrowd. 
So yeah, there are lots of security researchers in India, yeah. and they all they all wants to become entrepreneur because they want to become money where money where. But there is a lot of hard work involved, which is hidden, and yeah. people only see the fame and the success. Yeah, they are seeing only plus point of entrepreneurship. Yeah. So what's the take on this that? Uh, only some people are able to make it high and the entrepreneurship rate is really low the success of this entrepreneurship rate is really low yeah so as we told before that entrepreneurship is a kind of a thing where hard work and your struggle your hustle and you know your time management everything matters but as i told you that lots of people wants to become an entrepreneur because of the money fame success all those things right. but they don't look into their uh, you know a minus point they don't look at the some black sides and if we uh, make a side into black side so entrepreneurship need a punctuality you need to be punctual in your every way you need to uh, become you need to take on your time management that's how uh, you know you can implement your company you can make some success ratio in your company by just having a good time management into the investment of your company like what you invest in your company by your side if you are investing any kind of knowledge like i gain it a knowledge but if i am not implementing in my company so there will be a no uh, you know like a result of gaining my knowledge because i am not implement implementing it so right. there are lots of things and if we see why people are not becoming successful in entrepreneurship entrepreneurship is not like one hundred thing that you can do and you will be successful right uh, people start a entrepreneurship at the age of 60 and also at the age of 12 like we have seen the example of kfc now kfc the owner of kfc started uh, by struggling on the 65 years right and also he has in warren buffett who started his journey and who became a billionaire in the age of 56 and we also seen that some people who started entrepreneurship at the age of 10 and they become successful why because they have strength to do something different from the you know uh, globe they have a different kind of knowledge the strategies are different but they know actually how to run the business against the world what are the customer needs what there is a main thing uh, if i know what is the needs of a customer then i will be able to make my business at the good ratio any special strategies that the cyber security entrepreneurs must follow because uh, it is brought a lot of responsibility and you have to keep yourself very updated of all the technology and conversation that is going along because it's a technology world. So how you resonate with this? That what kind of skills are required? Okay, what kind of skills entrepreneurs need? Uh, if yeah. If you really want to build an empire, if you really want to build a yeah. name in cyber security field, what kind of skills yeah. are required according to today's time, today's need? Yeah. So basically, uh, as I told you, that entrepreneur look only one thing that I will be a success, I will get fame, uh, I will build my own empire. I will create a lot, you know, I will create my huge house and will, uh, you know, like a rule in that my house and I will rule on the market by doing lots of things. But they are just thinking about that. They are not implementing their ideas. So, uh, you know, for building an empire, there are lots of mistakes which are done by the entrepreneurship. And there are lots of things that you need to follow on while building your empire into uh, any, any field, right? The first thing is that knowledge. Now, we know that knowledge is a power. But without applying knowledge, it is not power. If you know what is uh, how the things run, but you are not applying in anything, that it is not worth it, right? You know that you need to know how the knowledge works. What are the roles of knowledge? Knowledge is not just a single thing. I just read a book and I know how this works. You need to uh, move it on the practical things. You need to uh, know all those things in reality, right? Because we uh, we are playing at the in the home we don't know what is running outside in the market so first of all prepare yourself by going through outside uh, know some stock markets and all those things to know that what is actually running in the market what are the needs of the customer and that entrepreneurs make mistake if you know that what actually customers need then obviously your business will make a power because we are working on thing that customer needs if we are uh, creating a things that a uh, customer don't need so why our business will run and uh, if you talk about the cyber security business so the simple thing suppose there is a company which is com uh, like info uh, we can say uh, google now google stores and lots of data of the customers we all trusted google and google also in security so google 
uh, will either come with a security company or Google will hire or Google will create their own self a security lab, right? So uh, there, there is only option that they will secure the data of the customers. So uh, that is the main thing that uh, I told you. The they are completing the needs of customer, but who will complete the need of Google of the security? So they will either create uh, uh, their own security labs or hire or you know purchase any product of a security company. Yeah. What kind of security measure should be included in a web lab? Okay. So the security measures, now it comes a technical part, right? Uh, there are lots of measures that we need to follow on. There are some documented regulations like uh, ISO, uh, you know, NIST and uh, some BSI standards, some uh, SANS, OWASP top 10. There are some standards, regulations, measures that we need to follow on. Otherwise, you can't judge that what is the uh, you know, role of uh, our security, what actually our security is good or not. If we measure that, so we can just get a better idea that how our security is. Uh, in that terms, if you are owning any kind of website, so OWASP top 10 module will help you to measure a security. Uh, there are lots of, you know, like uh, in after every uh, two years, OWASP release top 10 module of uh, what kind of vulnerabilities are top in the market. So uh, if you are running any kind of web application in your uh, company, so you just need to check all those module and compare that does is that module implementing in my website suppose there is a broken access control so does actually my company uh, the website is uh, you know following broken access control module so there are lots of things that we need to measure the second thing is that we need to follow some documentation uh, otherwise without documentation we can't run our business we can't run our business we need to take a permissions from the government uh, lots of stuff and the main thing is if you are running your business in the European country, so there is the biggest, uh, you know, big is and which is known as GDPR, General Data Protection Regulation, which is the biggest measure that we need to follow. If we are conducting any kind of data from the European country, so we need to follow GDPR, right? Because there is a regulation. If we are uh, like uh, I am dealing with any client of my Europe, uh, Europe country, European country, any um, country of, uh, of European, so I need to uh, prepare like what kind of data I'm uh, like gathering. Uh, I am, is I, is it, uh, you know, like uh, active as now or it, will be it to be, you know, like a, a lost, uh, uh, like a, it will be last long for the every time. No, it should not be because uh, after if, uh, if your uh, partnership with the client gone done, so you need to remove all the data of, from your company because uh, there is a rule of the European country, which is known as a GDPR. So that you need to follow some measures. And yeah, the, fir the first thing is test. Test your product in the QA team, in the staging environment, in the testing environment. Test your application and focus on that. Make some internal assessment, or like vulnerability assessment before launching into public. So you can have better idea that our products is safe or not. Fine. You have clearly mentioned the regulations and the need of opening a new entrepreneurial business. So, uh, what are the main perspectives that are need to be le really looked after that cannot be missed at any cost? Okay, so uh, first of all, there are some standards. Now, uh, we'll go into some security standards, right? Which actually it is necessary to start a company in the cybersecurity. And now, as per the rule of RBI, uh, Reserve Bank of India, has said that uh, after 31st of December 2019, every banks should do their VAPT on the regular basis. So it is a, you know, like a regulation from the RBI for the banks. And if we look at our corporate, so yeah, India is going to uh, launch and some privacy policy of the data, uh, data security, because data security plays an important role. If you are running any kind of business, then data is the main thing, right? And data, which is uh, including in the information security. Uh, as I told you that in the cybersecurity, if you add management into that, so it will become an information security. So the data privacy and data security, uh, which is create a main role into information security. And while doing all those things, we need to hire a DPO, which is known as a data production officer, right? So yeah, these are some things you actually need to look on for that. Uh, and if you have some certifications like certified information system, secured professional, or 
by offensive security or by you know like uh, all the certified information sy system manager and CISM are uh, like uh, lots of their organization which provides a certification for your company. So if you are following that certification, so there will be a reputation in the market that your company is a certified and these are not certification like I purchased them. I need to show them my audits that I actually done those things because we have seen that there are some private certification you can buy just because just from the money you don't need to do any any uh, mitigation or all those things if you are just purchasing the certification that's okay because uh, the organization needs money right uh, like so there are some issues but we will create some certification from well-known organization which are organization not in company like uh, you know i s a c a uh, like uh, offensive security uh, from i s c square uh, means there are lots of organization which provides a certification so by following the certification, you will know that you are certified into particular things, right? So yeah, these are some needs to follow on. Great. So uh, you mean to pay the proper doc documentation, certification, yeah. and you have to follow such standards which are uh, defined by the organization and defined by the government. Yeah. These yeah, are the yeah. like there is a standard. Yeah. There, is a, there is a standard like ISO 27001, which is known yeah. as an information security management system. So if you are implementing this, so uh, your company will be safe. I'm not saying it's a full of security because what hackers say that security is a myth. Uh, no, there is a no product which is completely secure. So yeah, but it will be plus point for a company that your company is running all the, your company is following all the standards. Your company has implemented like uh, there are some, you know, your company has CCTV cameras and like all the standards, what actually you need to do while uh, of the uh, company. And also that will uh, give you certification that my company is ISO 27001 uh, from BSI. So yeah, this certification are actually good to be have. Right. As you are doing such a great at uh, in this young age and you have become an entrepreneur so what is your success huh. mantra and what are the tips that you want to give to our viewers okay so now this is a very you know biggest thing like a, a very important thing uh, to do anything right. success mantra right uh, like there are lots of points that you need to follow the first one is investment now uh, there is a that i have here somewhere that employee uh, when employee invest their time, so they create boss rich. When debitors invest their time or debitor investment, so the bank become rich. Right. Or when you are investing uh, in the stock market or in yourself, so you will become rich, right? Because entrepreneurship, if entrepreneur invest in their self on their company, so there will be a no any kind of you know advantage to any other because you are gaining knowledge to yourself. So investment plays an important role. Now there are lots of kind of investment that you need to follow on. The first one is the investment of your knowledge. Read, book reading, which is, you know, like there are lots of books by uh, Rich Dad Poor Dad, uh, Go Getter, uh, sorry, Go Giver. So some uh, business books are there. So you uh, please read those books if you are actually you know looking towards business things. Because these books will help you to create your mindset that will create clear your mindset that what actually business is. And yeah, so investment of the knowledge. If you will read lots of books, then you will gain knowledge and you will implement those on your business or, or your, and your firm, right? The second thing is be punctual. Now, punctuality is why I say punctual because we create an idea, but we just create idea. We are not implementing it. We, uh, I, I just created that I want to become this, but there will be nothing by just thinking you need to focus on that. You need to do hard work, right? Uh, by doing that thing actually. And, uh, if you look, so there are three kind of, uh, entrepreneurs. The first one is a businessman. Now what businessman does that, uh, suppose I purchase a mango, uh, the price of mango is $1.5 and I will sell it on the $2. So what are money that I will earn? Who is known as a businessman? Now, what entrepreneur will do this? He will convert mango to the juice, right? Because he has an idea. So he will uh, convert mango juice uh, and uh, will sell it to market and for ten dollars. And the third one is the infopreneur, which is in the like you know, lots of people are doing that. Uh, I will not sell anything. I will teach to others that how to create juice from the mango. Uh, so uh, I will uh, take some dollars from you, uh, like one thousand dollar from me, because I am teaching you. I am giving you my all the, uh, you know, content like what I am teaching you. So that is the infopreneur. 
So be like infopreneur, share your knowledge because go a giver. If you will give your knowledge to anyone, so yeah, uh, you will earn by yourself. The third one is time management, right? Uh, you need to follow your time. Now I have seen that people are wasting their time by just uh, including, you know, like uh, watching some social medias and TikToks and, you know, just wasting their time and, and, and every time. Like uh, they are asleep for 10 hours, which is not, you know, you should not sleep for 10 hours because it, it will harm your body. And also you will, uh, you are not following time management. You should at least sleep for six hours. That is enough. And after six hours of, uh, you know, sleep, you need to start that your work, that what you actually want to do. So time management is very main thing. Right. Uh, and uh, there, uh, I have here a thought of that. You don't need to be great to start, but you need to start f to become great. Right. People are actually what thinking that I'm the super, I'm the star kid. Suppose uh, I'm the kid of businessman. So that will know, uh, that will know any, any kind of value of mine because I did nothing. The thing that I did because uh, the thing that has been did in the market because of the, the child I am. Suppose that I'm the star, I'm the businessman kid. So the businessman who created empire, so the value will be there. There will be no kind of value of mine. So, uh, you know, invest on yourself. And yeah, I, there are lots of things. You don't need to be great to start. Uh, people are thinking that I need some good cameras. I need a good laptop. I need uh, office to start a business. It is not required. You can start from just a laptop, which is enough for you. The Wi-Fi and a good idea and your punctuality, some kind of, you know, the subjects that you need to follow and the internet you can start your business. You can start your business in the virtual platform. And yeah, always look into the back, back sides. You know, what are the black side of, because uh, there is a no any kind of thing which is only uh, intent intentive to uh, work on the success because uh, failure is a key of success, right? If you are facing the failure, then do face because people after making a failure of their life, they just got, you know, they just fail from the life that uh, I have nothing. Uh, I did all the things wrong. And so don't do it because failure is the key. You need to learn something from the failure, which will help you to create your business. And in this talk, you know, I, I have lots of things. Uh, I talk about business only and your mindset because uh, what plays an important role. If, if you are good into technicals, but you don't know the soft skills, but you don't know how to manage things, then there will be a no value of your technical skills, right? Because uh, let me give you an example. There are lots of creative mind hackers. I'm talking to hackers who are sitting on the room. Uh, there are some laptops and their minds. They are doing just technical thing and they are actually so creative, but they don't know that how to manage those things. That's why they just call a hacker. If they actually invest their time into management and into soft skills, just so they can become a good businessman because they have skill also, but they don't know what are some management skills. So yeah, everything's matter. You can't so be focused on the also. Yeah, so there's lack of knowledge in some people and you have to share such amazing tips and investing in yourself, investing in your knowledge and having a good time management is the key to success according yeah, to yeah. you. Hmm. Thank you so much for your time and it was indeed a very interactive session. I hope our viewers will definitely learn a lot from you and you yourself have established yourself at such a young age and that is really recommendable. We would like to wish you all the best for all your future endeavors. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you for inviting me in the, this uh, confer conference and this presentation. I am actually honored to be here because, you know, this is the first presentation of mine, right? Uh, because I am 16 years old and uh, I, have, I didn't done any kind of, you know, things like uh, some presentation in the TEDx or any kind of things. It's my first uh, platform and brilliance in you will play an important role in my life because they, they give opportunity to me to start my, to, you know, to look into all the uh, real side, real world uh, conference, like how to give speech and all the guest speakers and how to conference with the host and all those things. So actually brilliance will uh, play an, brilliance will play important role in me, in my life. We are very glad to hear this and we would also like to be connected with you in the future and support you in all your work. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. To all my viewers, I would like to say that it was really an interesting and knowledgeable session. You must have learned a lot about cybersecurity and entrepreneurship. If any young or any working people who want to switch their careers and 
I think this is the best advice you can get. Thank you, everyone, and have a wonderful day. Bye, take care.